wanted to share um, one of my deliverances with you guys. I had two deliverances before, but um, this one is the third one, and this is the only one that that um, I actually got on video. Now, hot or fire all over this demon right now. I want to share this with you so that you might believe, because I this is this is the third time, and these were these were um, you know I was being delivered from all the when I turned my life to Christ completely. I was before, but then I stopped. I went off track. And I went into occult activity. And I got demonized that way. I got demonized through um, lucid dreaming. I got demonized through reading different religious texts that were not my own. When I started to give my life to Christ, after my second deliverance, I went on YouTube right here and I was looking for... I was looking at other deliverances and I was thinking, you know, I still had some some um, some problems in my life and I wanted to know if by any chance um, I was being influenced by, by demons and strange things were happening to me, like strange sensations and so on. So, I started watching deliverance videos and I came across a guy named Chris and he happens to be a man of God. He is, he's really good and I think God favors him a lot and you know he was speaking about all these things I, I actually I watched all I watched most of them and I figured you know everything this guy is saying it makes sense to me because I read certain things before and it all adds up and I browse certain things before and it all adds up so you know the things that I thought about are the things that he he was speaking about in these videos and I said you know what I have some more questions so I should um you know I should contact him and ask him about these things and it's it happened that I did contact him and um you know, I was typing out all these things that were happening to me, but I wasn't expecting, I wasn't expecting a deliverance, so to speak. I was just expecting answers, and he said, okay, well, let's pray, and a few minutes into the prayer, this is basically what happened. Hot or fire all over this demon right now. Hot or fire all over this demon. Torture. Hot, 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 hot. Fire, fire, fire. During that time, I had partial consciousness. It's not like... It's not like I was fully conscious... Uh, what should I say? I was conscious of what was happening, but I did not have full control over my actions. And... Um, there were certain things that that I was being led to do and I, I didn't do it because I didn't want you know I didn't I didn't want to say or do those things because they weren't my thoughts I could in during that time my thoughts my thoughts were like reduced it's, it's as if this is this is your brain and your brain is just like squeezed down to accommodate someone else's thoughts it was like that so the thought process was um different at that time and um i felt the power of god but it wasn't i didn't feel it as in um you know as in 
physically I, I felt it more in a spiritual sense because when he was saying you know fire the the fire that he was that he was calling down to to torture the demon it was it was really it it was a kind of feeling i can't explain but it was it <laughs> they have me jumping around but it was it was real you know angels restore her soul right now out of the mouth out of the mouth out of the mouth all the way out in jesus name all the way out in jesus name all the way out coughing up that stuff that satanic poison it was um it was as if it was as if some um it was as if my my stomach just started contracting violently and it was it was um it was as if i wanted to puke out my whole stomach but that didn't happen of course um it was it was a it was a sort of uncontrollable reaction it was not my reaction at all but I was responding to what he was saying not personally me but whatever was was um, attached to me I suppose um, how did I feel after I felt light I felt really light and you feel that peace inside of you you feel that love you f for the first time you feel total tranquility peace and love and it's important that you fill your void with with the love of Christ and the, the love of Jesus you know <laughs> it just overwhelms you some people cry some people you know I was just I was just a little I was a little prideful I guess so I did not react that way I reacted that way the first two times but this this time it was not that um, such a, a extreme emotional um, it wasn't extremely emotional for me the third time I guess because I, I know that I went through this before so it did not traumatize me to know that I had something there and um, I felt very exhausted after I went straight to bed I felt tired like as if I had as if I was the one that was fighting I felt really drowsy and tired and I just went straight to bed and I slept like I slept well so um, these are that's that's basically what you expect when you go through deliverance sometimes the Lord calls you to deliverance sometimes it just happens like that and sometimes you have to realize that you know you're in a situation and something else is influencing what's going on around you your atmosphere your surroundings disappointments negativity all these things are the work of you know all of those are satanic influences and you may have something that's behind that but you must believe in jesus christ to be saved because he's our lord and savior there's no one else can do it this was done in the name of jesus and jesus only and you know i made him my lord and savior i accepted him into my heart and into my life and yeah afterwards you can't be continually sinning you have to try to turn away from those things and if you if you love the Lord you will make an effort and yeah so that's what happened my soul my hope is
Here in the power 